Ancient Egypt was one of the world's great civilizations. The accomplishments of them are many and varied. They pioneered in agriculture, architecture, building comfortable homes as well as monumental temples and tombs. But how much is it possible to know about all the dynasties, pharaohs, their families, their livelihood? Our recent discovery finds something so interesting that would help rewrite the history of ancient Egypt. Before we go in depth, please do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get my next videos. For millennia, ancient Egyptians were laid to rest in burial shafts under Saqqara. Saqqara is a vast necropolis of the ancient Egyptian capital of Memphis, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, home to more than a dozen pyramids, ancient monasteries, and animal burial sites. An Egyptian archaeological mission, headed by Dr. Zahi Awas, working in Saqqara necropolis near the pyramids of Giza, announced a funerary temple belonging to ancient Egyptian queen Nerith has been discovered in the burial ground of Saqqara next to the pyramid of her husband, King Teti, the first pharaoh of the sixth dynasty of Egypt's old kingdom, who ruled Egypt from around 2323 BC to 2291 BC. The archaeological site is located near the pyramid of Teti, and Nate's funerary temple is opposite to the remains of her pyramid that is also near the remains of another two pyramids of the Tethys' other two wives. The discovery introduces the name Queen Nate for the first time in ancient Egyptian history, as King Teti was known before the discovery to have had only two wives, Atput I and Quet II. The excavation started in 2010 when the team discovered a pyramid of a queen next to the pyramid of King Teti, but they didn't find a name inside the pyramid to tell who the pyramid belonged to. That gave rise to a mystery about the ancient woman's identity. She was an unknown member of Egyptian royalty. About a month ago, they discovered a funerary temple and now researchers finally have a name for the ancient female monarch, Queen Nate, the wife of King Teti. Her name was finally found carved on a wall in the temple and also written on a fallen obelisk in the entrance to her tomb. Queen Nate is probably not buried in the funerary temple since these structures served primarily as place of worship where priests would honor dead royals. Other people could also visit to offer food and gifts to the deceased. The site has yielded thousands of artifacts over decades of excavation, but among the biggest rewards for Egyptologists is this latest round of discoveries was the identity of a queen who died around 4,200 years ago. Queen Nate is a new name to be written and this will enrich our knowledge about the Old Kingdom. Thus, these recent discoveries would help rewrite the history of ancient Egypt. Near Nate's temple, archaeologists also discovered three mud brick warehouses attached to the temple on its southeastern side, containing offerings to Teti and his queen, along with tools that had been used to build her funerary temple. Additionally, they found 52 burial shafts containing more than 50 wooden coffins or sarcophagi that were at least 3,000 years old. Since September, researchers have found at least 160 human coffins buried below the sand in shafts up to 40 feet deep. This latest trove brings the total up to 210 or more. It was the first time sarcophagi that old had been found at Saqqara. They are roughly 500 years older than the most ancient coffins found in the city to date. The discovery confirms that Egyptians buried their dead in the necropolis during the New Kingdom era between the 16th and the 11th century BC. That's far earlier than Egyptologists initially thought. The burials were likely part of a Teti worshipping cult that formed after the pharaoh's death. The cult seems to have remained active for more than a millennium with people wanting to be buried near the pharaoh's pyramid. The discovery marks the first time that coffins dating back 3,000 years have been found in the Saqqara region.
According to the archaeologists, many of the newly discovered coffins are decorated with illustrations of Egyptian gods and excerpts from the Book of the Dead, an ancient manuscript that guides souls through the afterlife. Inside the sarcophagi found so far, presumably, are linen wrapped bodies of ancient Egyptians whose organs were removed before burial. The mummy stayed in the sealed sarcophagi for thousands of years. Egyptologists have opened a few of them, one containing a soldier with his battle axe resting beside him. One of the most fascinating objects found in the burial shafts is a 13-foot long papyrus that contains chapter 17 of the Book of the Dead, a manuscript that ancient Egyptians used to help guide the deceased through the afterlife. The name of the papyrus's owner, Pokhaev, is written on it. That same name was also found on one of the wooden coffins and on four shakti figurines meant to serve the deceased in the afterlife. Though scientists are currently analyzing the text, other copies of chapter 17 contain a series of questions and answers, a cheat sheet of sorts for people trying to navigate the afterlife. Whether the newly found copy of chapter 17 has the same question and answer format remains to be seen. Inside the burial shafts, the archaeological team discovered a stella that belonged to a man named Kafta, who is identified as the overseer of the pharaoh's military chariot. The top part of the stella shows the couple paying homage to Osiris, the Egyptian god of the underworld, while the lower part shows the couple seated on chairs with six of their children in front of them. Their three daughters are shown seated and smelling lotus flowers, while their three sons are shown standing. The archaeologists aren't certain which pharaohs Kafta served. It's possible that he served Ramesses II, who reigned from 1279 BC to 1213 BC, a pharaoh known for his military campaigns that expanded Egypt's empire as far north as Syria. An inscription on the stela says that two of Kafta's children are named after family members of Ramesses II. One of Kafta's daughter is named Nefetari, the same name as Ramesses II's main wife, and one of his sons is named Kameswet, the same name as one of Ramesses II's son. Other discoveries in the burial shafts near the pyramid included a bronze axe, board games, statues of Osiris and several mummies, including the mummy of a woman who appears to have suffered from familial mediterranean fever, a genetic disorder that causes recurring fever and inflammation of the abdomen, joints and lungs. Games were also buried with the dead to keep them busy in the afterlife. One of them was a game called Twenty, found with its owner's name still visibly written on it. Another game called Senep, which means cross, was found in the shafts. It's similar to chess, but if the deceased player wins, they go safely into the afterlife. At a nearby corner in the archaeological site, hundreds of intact, broken, and reassembled pots were displayed while specialists were still working on reassembling more pieces. Narmin Abba Yazid, a criminologist with the SCA and a member of the mission, said that finding pieces of pots is the first step that leads to more information about the history of the place and the surrounding objects. Through the unveiled pottery can be found out the era to which the place belonged, as well as the nature of the place, whether it was for burial or dwelling, because ancient house pots were different from those placed near coffins. Recently unveiled pots include some that give evidence of Egypt's ancient trade relations with Crete, Syria, and Palestine. So far, they have unveiled only 30% of the antiquities buried in this place, and 70% is still underground. Noting that Egypt has more than 122 pyramids, including 13 in Saqqara. The Egyptian team that made the discovery includes archaeologists from the Egyptian Antiquities Ministry and the Zahi Awai Center of Egyptology at the Bibliotheca Alexandrina. Isn't it so fascinating to unfold the mysteries of history? Let me know what you think below. Thank you for watching. 
If you like the video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe my channel, Infoholic.